Good afternoon or good evening everybody. This is Jonathan, better known to all of you as Hell's Unicorn, independent blogger and up and comer. And I am actually now on location in Waverly, Virginia with David Keeter. And uh, we've got some uh, stuff to tell you about. And I think we're gonna start off with now, David, um, you were a very close and very dear friend of uh, uh, model and actress Larissa McComas. Can you just uh, tell me a little bit of the background of uh, how you first found out about her and uh, your first meeting, stuff like that? Yes, sir. Uh, I think like most of us, uh, my first experience with Larissa was uh, seeing her on the cover of the paperwork. Uh, special edition uh, lingerie issue for the it was August September of 1991. Yes. And uh, I had my own business and it was uh, working at a desk and needless to say uh, I didn't have any social life <laughs> whatsoever <laughs> just uh, working seven days a week. And I just saw this uh, young lady on the cover of this magazine and, was, uh, and to me it's just the most uh, in all honesty the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. And it just, it just took me over uh, right at that moment. But I started seeing more and more print work of her uh, show up. And then, you know, on uh, the cable channels, uh, some of her movies, a uh, bit part, she was popping up. And it became sort of a hobby. Uh, just to, yeah, I would always look forward to her work. And I was always, uh, I, I guess there was just something about it that just, drew me to her instantly. And I would watch her work, and I would, uh, you know, in my own little uh, corner of the world, so to speak, I was really hoping to see that this, this young lady uh, succeeded. And that went on actually probably for a couple of years. And then around uh, 1993, uh, she came out with her fan club. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, well, let me call. And I talked to uh, then, her then manager, uh, Doug Taylor, mm. and uh, got some information. And turned out, uh, strangely enough, uh, of course we're here in Virginia, uh, that Doug was originally uh, li only lived about an hour and a half away from him in Wilson, North Carolina. So it started with a very mutual friendship mm. uh, that uh, we were all from the same area. Uh, unbeknownst to me, Larissa had uh, worked this area uh, early in her career. Mm -hmm. So there was already a type of bond. And around, I would say, you know, the, uh, around that time, uh, and again up until about 1995, uh, we were talking on the phone. Sometimes uh, Larissa didn't want to be, uh, well, she was busy and didn't want to uh, uh, spend too much time advancing. So she would pretend that she was someone else and give another name on the phone. But there was no you know, mistaking the voice. You could not hide that voice. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to uh, you know, uh, blow that facade for her and everything. So I would be like, whatever name she would use, I would be like, okay, Julie, I just want to uh, you know, pick up some... Uh, you know, uh, videos or, or uh, you know, some uh, autographed 8x10s. And then more times than not, halfway through our conversation, she was like, Dave, this is a yeah. <laughs> And we continued that uh, up until about 1999. Uh, her parents had retired and were moving to Florida, and Larissa had decided that she wanted to do feature entertainment here on the East Coast. Uh, and some of the more high-end gentlemen clubs. And it was in Wilmington, North Carolina, that she was going to be there, and they asked that I come. So I met them uh, at the club. Uh, that's a story that's a uh, very good story. I'm not going to go into all that. We'll be here all day. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, but when she came out on stage, I'll never forget, she was uh, in costume, and she was uh, wearing a baby blue nurse's outfit. And we had never met, mm -hmm. only talked on the phone. But she walked right up to me on the stage to, and told me to stand up. And uh, I had to say it. And I was like, yeah, uh, Miss McComas. I, I, I would call her Miss McComas then. 
I said, Miss McComas, my name's Dave Keeter, and I just drove a thousand miles uh, to see you. And uh, she goes, I know exactly who you are. She said, you're Dave Keeter. And I was like, yes, ma'am, I am. And she was like, you know, uh, Dave, it's finally a pleasure to meet you. And I was like, Miss McComas, that's my life. <laughs> And we started a conversation right there. The music was playing. The DJ had stopped the music, and he just he was he was just like Larissa. You can socialize after you know your set. Mm -hmm. So she pointed to the table where I should meet her uh, after she got off stage. And as soon as she did, I went over there, uh, met uh, her and Doug for the first time. And from then on, it, it was right at that moment that uh, Larissa and I uh, became friends. And I started uh, to just, you know, meet him on the road whenever possible, and it was more times than not. But um, it really started uh, at that at that point, and I was just uh, taken by it because uh, no matter what people would see on stage or on film or in magazines, uh, the lady herself was just uh, very charming. Uh, individual that really uh, appreciated uh, uh, her fans. Mm -hmm.